can hit that movie, and then maybe I'll go over to Yo's, and I'll get a couple of beers, and I'll just have a regular girls' night out. Just me and me. I'm just gonna let the machine pick that up. Hi, you've reached Margot, Adam, Casey, and Lucky. Please leave a message after the beep. Margot, it's Tom. Are you there? I'm, I'm sorry about what went down at the hospital and that you don't understand why I have to go after Emily, but I can't blame you. Just know my obligation to her has nothing to do with us. I still want to do the counseling, whatever it takes for us to get back together and... Well, we'll, we'll talk more when I get back. Meanwhile, you can always reach me on my cell phone. Take care. Bye. going out and tripping the light fantastic and I thought I need an accomplice and here you are. Uh, well, uh, where are the kids? Where, where's Adam? Well, they're over at Kim and Bob. So first I thought we could go over to Yo's and get a couple of beers and then we'll shoot some pool and then after that we could go to the Oasis and go dancing, okay? Hold it. You lost me after the first beer. My curfew is 10 on weeknights. You know uh, that. Not tonight, it's not. Margot, I really had a killer day. Well, this will revive you. Mm. Why don't we stay here and have a beer? It's cheaper, it's quieter. I don't want to be cheap and quiet. I want to go out, I want to play, I want to dance. Come on. Look, neither one of us has anybody that we have to be at home for, so why don't we just go, okay? Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's have some fun. Yeah, it's nice to see you, too. Uh, listen... I... Emily Stewart accepted an award here with me last year. Do you, do you remember her? Sure, I heard she was presenting tonight, but backed out for some sort of reason. Yeah, um, have you seen her? I'm really looking for her. Uh, sorry, I can't help you. All right, thanks. Uh, excuse me. Hi, uh, I think we met here last year. Tom Hughes, I remember. Carol Harder. Hartford Weekly. Hi, Carol. Nice to see you. Look, uh, Emily Stewart accepted an award here with me last year. She's, she's kind of petite. Got the... Uh, short blonde hair. I remember. Yeah. Very pregnant. Have you, have you seen her around? Hmm. No, I'm positive I haven't seen her. Sorry. So if you're not here, Emily, where are you? Hotel room 327. There's a man in my room. He's trying to. Second, you see Emily. I will tell her that you are looking. Listen for her. to me. If the room is too crowded and you can't get to me, this is my cell phone number. Okay, hold on. Hello. Is anybody there? Tom. Emily. Shh, hey, Emily. Is that you? Are you okay? Is the baby okay? Yeah. Yes, Tom, I'm so scared. I know. I know you're scared. But you have to listen to me. You have to turn yourself in to the police is the only way. That way, I can protect you. Emily? Em? Damn it. Tom? What? Toby Woleski, Channel 3 News. I interviewed you last year after you won. Yeah, whatever. You know what? It's not a really good time right now. Yeah, I just heard about Emily Stewart's arrest. And then she escaped custody? 
Yeah, I'm afraid so, but uh, that's not even the whole story. Then tell me what is. I can't do that. Oh, come I'm on. acting as her attorney. Tom, this poor dog really needs a bone. Come on, uh, some background, an update, anything. I have absolutely nothing to report. But that could, that could change if you're, if you're willing to play things my way. And how much coffee have you had today? I'll tell you in the car, come on. You're too wired to drive. Well, then you drive. No, Margo, come on, I just walked in the door. We haven't even said hello. Hello, let's go. No, why are you so hell-bent on going out? Because I get one night out a month, and I really want to make the most of it, because you have no idea what being a single mother does to your social career. You're not single. Do you see any husbands around here? I certainly don't. Have you heard from Tom since Emily took off? You know what? You're right. Maybe I should go out by myself because this is just the kind of conversation I want to escape. Can't escape what you're feeling. Well, I can certainly outrun it for a couple of hours. Are you coming or not? You can't run. I want to run. I want to dance. I want to play. I want to sing. <laughs> Come on. Well, you're torn up good by this, aren't you? No, I'm not torn up. I'm happy. I'm exhilarated. For the first time in a long time, I know exactly what I have to do about this marriage. Andy said you and Tom are going for some counseling? No, no. We've 86 that. No, we're going straight into uh, legal separation and then divorce. Oh, first counseling and then divorce. Oh, you're crystal clear about how you feel about well, this, aren't you, Well, it's just that crystal? today was the last straw, Hal. Margo. No, it was, because when I found out that Tom and Emily slept together, I thought, well, that's it. I'm going for a divorce. But no, I didn't follow through on that. And then we find out that Emily's pregnant. Well, that ought to seal it. That ought to get the divorce right there. But Tom said, no, we can get through this. We just stick together. And so I let this thing, this mess of a marriage limp along. Tom loves you, Margo. You know that. He doesn't love her. He loves me. He loves me so much that he's out there chasing after her, and he should be here trying to mend our holy union. <sighs> Margo. No, I mean, I just gotta get out of here. I gotta go someplace because everything in this house reminds me of Tom and what we don't have anymore, and every breath I take reminds me that he's not here, and it just makes me want to scream. It makes me want to scream, why? Why is he always out there helping her? He's never here helping me. And why, after all the hurt that he's done, after he continues to hurt me, why? Why do I still love him? No, Mrs. no, I have to leave sooner than that. Forget Montreal. When's your next flight to Toronto? Hotel. Ironically, the biggest scoop on this evening isn't the prize-winning story. It's the recent arrest of last year's top honoree, Emily Stewart, former editor of the Argus newspaper in Oakdale, Illinois. Here to update us is Tom Hughes, friend and colleague of Miss Stewart's. Tom, I understand that Emily Stewart was arrested after she shot a man who she claims kidnapped her. Um, that's correct. And then she escaped police custody and is currently a fugitive? Any idea where she is? Uh, all I know is that she's out there somewhere and I'm very worried about her. So, Emily, if you're watching this, I know you're scared. But running is not the answer, so you've got to stop now and turn yourself in. You have my number. Call me, because I can help. I promise you, you will not go through this alone. I will be there with you and the baby every step of the way. And every time Tom goes chasing off, rescuing Emily, he cheats on me over again. So I just don't have to take it. Look. Thank you. I know it's rough, but, you know, Tom's faced with a pretty rough decision, too. Oh, please, he has choices. At least you know he's not running after her because he loves her. No, he loves me. He's doing it for the baby because it's his duty. It's duty. Would you prefer that he neglected his responsibility to this kid? He told Emily to go to hell, fend for herself? 
He's doing the honorable thing, Margot, because that's the kind of a man he is, and you married him because he is that kind of a man. Oh, are we having any fun yet? You can't cut Tom loose for the same reason I could never let go of Barbara. The connection between you two is just too, it's too deep, it's too real. Did I just hear you say you and Barbara in the same sentence? Yeah. So does that mean that you're dating, like, sort of just seeing, seeing? It's kind of gone beyond the seeing, seeing part. It's what I wanted to talk to you and Adam about. Well, Adam, what is Adam? Have? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, hell. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh. Barbara and I are tying the knot again. And I can see that you're just thrilled about it, but you know what? I am, because it's the third time, and I think the third time's going to be a charm. I can feel it. I am thrilled for you. I am, really. I am, because I know that it's what you want, and it'll make you happy. Well. Congratulations. Thank you. So... You and Barbara together again. Yeah, but, you know, in some ways, we were never really apart. That connection, you know, it's so too deep, too strong. That whole John Carly thing that was a figment of our collective imaginations? Mistakes on the rebound. Big ones, big ones, you know. But that's what people do when they're hurt by somebody that they truly love. They do things they'll regret down the line. Why do I sense you're making a point? Hmm? When Barbara and I separated, we both had very strong feelings for each other. We were just too hurt and too stubborn to admit it. We wasted a lot of precious time, time that we'll never get back, turning to other things and other people for comfort when what we should have been doing was turning to each other. Don't make the same mistake. Don't focus on the pain. Focus on what matters. Focus on the love. Because in the end, it's really all that counts. Thanks. Did you hear anything? Sure. Toby, thanks for the airtime. Thanks for the exclusive. Hope Emily gets in touch. So do I. So do I. give you some privacy. No, I don't need any privacy. I just, I, I don't, I, you're the one who's making me do this. I don't have to do this. I'm not doing this. Margo, you just told me that you love Tom. You also told me that he called here just before I arrived. So if you're really looking for a way to put your marriage back together, pick up the damn phone. Well, all right, I guess I wouldn't hurt to return a phone call. I mean, it's just common courtesy is that I guess it's the proper thing to Whatever, do. Whatever, just right, call the number. Call well, I guess Emily has something better to do than to watch TV. Emily. Hey, please. Please don't hang up on me again. I'm in New York at the Olcott Hotel. The ballroom. You gotta come to me. Listen, if you can't come to me, tell me where you are. I will get to you. Just promise me that you... Emily, you're here. Well, what did he say? <laughs> 